What is going on mortals? Mortal T here and today we are back on some more Immortals Phoenix Rising because I'm going to be telling how you can get your hands on another level 3 mount in this game. Now this is for the, what I am going to call the fire horse because it is like surrounded in flames and everything and it looks really really amazing. It has got a proper name as all the other mounts do. And, but I'm calling it the fire horse. <clears throat> so, there are restrictions in getting this. You cannot get this mount straight away after the tutorial. Unfortunately, you will have to do some missions because it is locked in an area that you cannot get to unless you do some missions. So, over here in War's Den, you'll find this huge giant fortress or castle which you have to get into. In order to get into this castle, you will have to do some of the missions here so you will have to go into the vault and complete it for Ares the God of War to try and get his essence uh, once you have done that uh, you'll carry on and you'll open the doors and blah 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 and then you have access to this area you cannot get in this area otherwise because there usually is a red aura around the entire fortress or castle that completely drains your stamina and as because the walls are so high on this you will not be able to climb it and get in so that is like the condition that you have to do. You have to do some of the main Ares missions in order to get this. If you want to know how to do the vault, I will have a video over on my channel walking through the entire challenges that you have to do in the vault in order to unlock this. But once you have unlocked it and you made it to the back area right here, because this is where you're going to have to be. Now, I wouldn't advise trying to move all the way through this fortress just because there is a huge amount of enemies that you will have come across and you will have to kill I advise you going round to the back here there is usually a Tartarus pit here which you can go into and then once you completed it you can fast travel to it but then yeah I'd recommend going over uh, up the backside over the walls and come into this area here because this dark pit that you see on the map is where we're going to have to go so we're gonna turn around right here and we're going to look down into this pit and you will see the fire horse, which is right there, just wounding around this area. Now, if you don't know how to tame already, it's very, very easy. You have to go into stealth mode or sneak mode, which is basically just the crouch mode. And you'll have to slowly walk up to the, the horse or tame that you're trying to do. Until you get close enough to it and able to tame it. Uh, but if you go too fast, the horse will get spooked. And it will get an exclamation point above its head. Uh, and then you'll have to stop in your tracks and wait for the horse to stop moving. And then you can try and continue on to taming it. But if you're pretty far along in the game and got a bunch of upgrades. And you've got the Phoenix and you've upgraded his abilities as well. You can get the ability to turn yourself invisible just like this. This is very very useful when it comes to taming because you don't have to worry about it checking out on you you can just creep up as much as you can and boom get really close and then just tame it automatically straight away which is very very easy and very very cool as you can see this is some kind of fire horse unicorn looking thing because it has got like a horn coming out of its head i don't actually know the proper name of this Obviously, the tame itself has got a proper name, but I don't want to butcher the name in any way. But we come over to our mount menu here. As you can see, it's at the top of here. And boom, there you have it. We can get a, quite a good look at it here. So it is kind of like a fire unicorn thing. It, it, like I said, it's very hard to describe, but it looks super, super cool. And yet again, like I said before, it is a level 3 mount. So it'll have a bunch of stamina that you can use, enable you to get around this map in full but there you have it mortals that is very very easy to do like I said there is some conditions of getting to this place but other than that um, you should have a lot of fun so mortals I hope this helps hope you enjoyed and I'll hopefully see you in the next video